What? I implanted a virus in her, you dimwit. She's on a set path now. At least she should be. As much as I hate to admit it, there seems to be some part of her capable of resisting. Regardless, it's only a matter of time before her mechanical body succumbs to the virus. She'll open the vault, then she'll destroy herself, and our little penny problem will be... What do you mean, she'll destroy herself? How am I supposed to take her power if she's dead? You know, it's impressive that you haven't realized this yet, but I don't work for you. <laughs> Please, you can't just threaten me like everyone else. You think you're so clever, don't you, Arthur? Salem sent you to bring me back. Salem isn't here right now. But I think we can still come up with a plan while she's pulling herself together. First, I'm gonna watch you plummet to an unremarkable end. And then I'm going to burn a path directly to the vault, where I will wait to tear that magical puppet to pieces and take what is mine. <laughs> oh, of course you are, because that's just what you do, isn't it? How has that worked out for you? You stormed into Freya's room thinking you could take on Ironwood's top fighter and war machine. But you couldn't. And that machine became the Winter Maiden. Oh, and let's not forget your deal with Raven Brownwyn. Get all your enemies in one place so you'd have a shot at revenge. If only someone could have warned you against such a miserable idea. Oh wait, I did. But you pushed ahead, and you lost it when all you had to do was your job! You think you're entitled to everything just because you've suffered, but suffering isn't enough! You can't just be strong, you have to be smart! You can't just be deserving, you have to be worthy! But all you have ever been is a bloody migraine! <laughs> 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 